In today's news, according to the latest report by the Fair Play Movement, poultry imports for the first 11 months of 2023 are higher than total imports in 2022. This follows a four-year decline in poultry imports into South Africa. Poultry imports peaked at 566,000 tons in 2018. Since then, import volumes have dropped steadily. The recovery came despite continued episodes of of bird flu in Europe. Only three European Union countries can now export to South Africa after most were banned. Whether the upward trends will continue in 2024 remains to be seen. New data shows that Brazil officially exported 5,14 million tonnes of poultry between January and December last year. What Poultry reports that this is the first time Brazil's poultry exports have exceeded 5 million tonnes. Brazil is the world's second largest poultry producer after the United States, but exports more poultry than any other country. The 2023 export total represents a 6,6% increase on the 4,8 million tonnes exported in 2022. The increase was attributed to the opening of new markets as well as increasing sales to existing clients. China recently announced a substantial reduction in tariff rates on imports of South African rooibos tea. The country slashed previous tariffs of 15 to 30 percent to a mere 6 percent effective 1 January 2024. This follows discussions between South Africa's Minister of Trade, Industry and Competition, Ibrahim Patel, and China's Minister of Commerce, Wang Wentao. The Rebels Council reports that this move, which impacts around 20,000 tonnes of annual production, will generate employment for over 5,000 people. The ongoing crisis at the container terminal in the port of Cape Town could escalate into a legal battle as frustrations in South Africa's fresh produce sector continue to mount. This is according to Wandele Sitlobu of AgBiz. Industry leaders who are seeking to recoup losses due to the delays are contemplating taking legal action against the port authority. Growers and exporters attribute the delays to inefficiencies and a lack of equipment, with strong winds exacerbating the situation. An in-depth and up-to-date interview with role players on this issue will be broadcast on PLAS TV next week. The Western Cape Minister of Local Government, Environmental Affairs and Development Planning, Anton Bridell, recently confirmed that the Department of Local Government has approved additional funding to bolster its wildfire budget. The budget will be increased from 16 to 19 million rand. According to Bridell, they have experienced an extremely busy fire season so far and are currently battling fires on Boys Drive in Meisenberg and in Franschhoek. The Boys Drive fire is extremely challenging due to high winds and inaccessible terrain. Since December 2023, a total of 837 wildfires were reported to the Provincial Disaster Management Centre. According to Bridal, the public continues to play a crucial role in the prevention of wildfires. And that's today's news.